Hi guys, it's Anurag and in this lesson I'm going to talk about organic compounds from the Leaving Cert Chemistry course. So the compounds that I'll talk about are the alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, chloroalkanes, alcohols, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, and esters. So we're going to start off with alkanes. Now, the functional group of alkanes is that they only contain single bonds. Their general formula is CnH2n plus 2. Alkanes always end in A and E, so you'd have methane, ethane, propane, butane, so on and so forth. Uh, alkanes are called saturated compounds. Uh, a saturated compound is any compound which only has single bonds. So if a, com so if a compound has double or triple bonds, uh, it would be labeled unsaturated. To be saturated, you need to have only single bonds. Uh, alkanes are commonly used in LPG, which stands for liquefied petroleum gas. Uh, LPG commonly contains propane and butane, which are third and fourth members of the alkane series. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to alkenes. Uh, the functional group of alkenes is that they contain a double bond. Their general formula is CnH2n. The first member of the series is ethene. It can't be methene. Methene doesn't exist because to have a double uh, if you're going to have a double bond, you need at least two uh, carbon atoms for it. So the first member is ethene, and ethene is drawn like this. Uh, and this is unsaturated because, it, of course, if you don't, if the compound isn't only single bonds, it's going to be an unsaturated compound. Okay, so now we're going to talk about alkynes. Their functional group is that they contain a triple bond. Their general formula is CnH2n minus 2. Their first member is ethyne which is drawn like this. Uh, okay, so now we're going to move ahead and talk about chloroalkanes. Now, chloroalkanes are basically normal alkanes, except one or more hydrogens from the compound have been replaced with a chlorine atom. So I'll give you an example. We had methane. This was the first member of the alkane series. Now, if it was a chloroalkane, uh, you could have something like this. You see, one of the hydrogens has been replaced with a chlorine. So it becomes uh, chloromethane. Now you could also have dichloromethane, uh, which would be something like this. And you also you could also have uh, trichloromethane. So if I was to uh, replace this with chlorine as well, and of course you could do the same with this. 
Now, uh, you need to know their properties though, which is uh, another thing you need to know. So the properties, uh, they're insoluble in water. Uh, they have a higher boiling point than alkanes. So, uh, chloral, chloromethane would have a higher boiling point than methane and uh, chlor uh, chloroethane would have a higher boiling point than ethane. Uh, they're a non-polar solvent. So that they're commonly used as a non-polar solvent uh, for, t for things like dry cleaning. They'd be commonly used in dry cleaning. Okay, now I'm going to talk about alcohols. Uh, alcohols always end in anol. So many of you know, would know about uh, ethanol, which is the se second member of the series. So you have methanol, ethanol, propanol, so on. Uh, so their general formula is CnH2n plus 1 OH. Their functional group is that they always contain OH within the molecule. OH is also referred to as the hydroxyl group. So the hydroxyl group. Alcohols are said to be saturated because they only contain single bonds. You can have two types of alcohols. You can have primary alcohols and secondary alcohols. There's also a third type, tertiary, but you don't need to know about that for the Leaving Cert course, so I'm going to uh, skip that. Uh, so primary alcohols always have the OH group at the end of the chain and secondary alcohols always have the OH group in the middle of the carbon chain. So I'm going to use uh, propanol as an example. So here I have three carbons and I'd have the OH group at the end of the chain. So I would have OH here and this would be H now you can see it's saturated because there's no double or triple bonds and once again since the OH group is at the end of the chain it's a primary alcohol now I can write uh, propanol as a secondary alcohol as well I just have to put that OH in the middle so I can draw it like this. So the OH is gone here in the middle. Uh, the rest here are hydrogen atoms. Okay, so uh, to recap, primary alcohols, OH is at the end of the group. Secondary alcohols, OH is in the middle of the group. Okay. So now I'm going to move ahead and talk about aldehydes. Now, the functional group of aldehydes is that it always contains a carbonyl group and a hydrogen atom at the end of a chain. So it would contain this CH. O. CHO is C double bond O. This is the carbonyl group. And it contains a hydrogen. So that's the functional group CHO. 
a carbonyl and a hydrogen. Uh, their general formula is Cn H two N plus one C H O. So their first member in the series would be methanol. So with with these, you always need to end in A and A L. So the first member is methanol. So I'm going to draw methanol here now. So it's going to be C H double bond O. Now, just again with this formula, uh, you don't sub in one at the start. You have to start subbing in zero. So that would be the first member in the series. Aldehydes, I know it's a bit different. You need to start swimming in zero and then one, then two. So you always start with zero, then one, then two, and so on. So what I've drawn here is methanol. This is the first member of the series. So I took the formula and sub zero in to get this out, this structural formula out. So if you sub in zero, you're going to get uh, H and then Z, there would be a zero here as well. So you'd have uh, H and then CHO. So it's going to be HCHO. So that's the formula of methanol. So that's this right here. HCHO, that's the formula of methanol. Okay, and uh, one of their properties, uh, their boiling point uh, is higher than the corresponding alkanes, but it's lower than the corresponding alcohols. So their boiling point is higher than alkanes. but it's lower than the corresponding alcohols. 